are you trying to make out? Am I sitting crisscross applesauce in a cow field full of poop? Yes, yes I am. Hi, my name is Lacey. Welcome to my life. So hello, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. I am a cattle farmer, but a little bit of a different one. Salem, I see you coming in hot. This is a camera. It's not anything crazy. Please don't knock it over. I'm trying to film, <laughs> but I um, post my cattle a lot on my social media platforms. My biggest one being TikTok. And people are always really confused by what I do because I do have pet cows and it always really amazes people. They're very like excited and they always want to learn about it. Salem, no snow. You don't have to get up just cause Salem's Salem. I don't need a cameraman. Salem. I don't need a cam. I wish I could. <laughs> But anyway, I have pet cows and people are always super curious. They want to know how they could do it. And it's not something that I can answer just with like a real quick, like, you know, this is how, you know, this is how much it costs. So I just wanted to go over some factors if you're genuinely like interested in getting pet cattle, or even if you want to get cattle just to actually do production. I just want to give you kind of some figures and some resources that you can use because obviously people all over the country and world can watch this video. So I can't just be like, oh, based off of Southern Ohio, that's not going to do you good if you live in freaking Arizona. So let's go through and let's tell you all of the things you need to know if you want to have pet cattle. So the biggest factor you're going to want to have is land. You're going to need acreage for your cattle because you can get away with having cows semi cheaply because they are pasture animals, they're ruminants. And so they can live predominantly off of the grass that is naturally produced. But depending on where you live, there's this thing called a stocking rate, which is basically how many cows that you can put per acre, if, depending on what kind of grasses your area grows. For instance, in Southern Ohio, we have a lot of lush green grass. So I can have a lot more cows per acre versus like when you get out in rangeland, like Arizona or out West, they can sometimes have eight to nine acres per one cow. If you hear breathing, it's because Salem is my cameraman. Salem, stop it. The best way to find out what your stocking rate is, so you know, are you getting up? Oh God, careful sister. <laughs> Don't step on me. Why is everyone concerned with the camera? <laughs> this is just turning into cow ASMR. Ladies, this is chaotic. I'm just trying to teach the people and we've turned into this. You can find your stocking rate by going to your local extension office, contact any of like the, um, so like we have an Ohio Department of Agriculture. So your state might have a local agriculture department or you could even contact local 4-H and FFA chapters because they should be able to get the information. You can probably do a quick Google search and find your stocking rate because that's gonna tell you how much land do you need to have cattle. <laughs> we'll go on to the next clip and maybe you'll find an area where I don't know, I'm not getting freaking questioned and judged heavily. So after you find out how much land that you would need, you need to make sure that it's enough to have at least three cows. Cattle are herd animals. They have that herd drive. They like to be friends with each other. So you're going to want to make sure that you have enough area to have three. And the best way to get the most out of your grass is to have enough land to where you can rotationally graze. That's why we have five fields here. It's so we can give each field a break while they're in an opposite one. That way the grass can grow back properly so that we can keep feeding grass as long as we can because that saves on costs for hay and feed. You're gonna only need to supplement feeding in the months that you don't have lush pasture. So that's when you're gonna have hay and you could stick to just hay if you wanted to, but my girls are um, spoiled. So I also do feed actual grain, which they love. And you can do that as well. It just depends on how much money you want to spend. It's not too crazy. I believe a 50 pound bag of feed that I use is about like six and a half, seven dollars $7. And I usually feed about two a day for these girls so that can give you some math and then hey it just depends on your area snow is taking a fat piss hang God, on you can immediately smell the urine they pee so damn much <laughs> but um you can just check with your local farmer if you have the option we do bale some of our own hay here but then we usually buy and like i said it just depends on your area because i don't know how it works out in you know places where they have to outsource hay so that would be something else that you could research to see who has hay and how you can get that but that's what you have to feed during the winter months when you're not feeding grass and then as far as once you know that you have the land, once you know that you have the extra income to be able to feed them, you know that you can get at least three. The next question is, what do you want to do? You know, what's, what's the end goal? Do you want to just get a couple cows to just have for funsies? Well, you can literally go to the stockyards and find cows that are getting sold weekly 
or if you want to do something more novelty, a lot of people are really getting into mini cows, you can find a breeder. Facebook is toxic as hell, but it's also a great place to find little groups and stuff like that to find breeders, reputable hopefully, that can sell you some calves. The best bet for getting them to be friendly is the most interaction at a younger age. So the younger that you would buy a cow, the better your chances would be to build that relationship and bond. Cattle take time though. Um, I really just love them for a lot of things, but they almost, it's like they have to, you have to gain their respect and trust. And once you gain that, they're like puppy dogs, as you can tell with my ladies, but it's not something that you just get immediately. So if you're really wanting to, you know, have a full connection. Who? Why, when I take a camera out, it's like, everybody, real quick, let's piss. Like, what are we doing? But you can find local breeders. You can definitely go to a, um, stockyards find some there um i know there are some people that genuinely partner up with dairy operations and will actually buy like ba like bottle babies and that would be a great opportunity if you wanted really friendly babies because bottle babies pretty much uh, associate you as mom and that's why oswald is obsessed with me so that is where you would look to see where can i buy these animals but i think the biggest difference and factor between having cattle as pets versus having anything else like the you know typical pets like dogs cats stuff like that is just the actual like land that you need because hypothetically you could keep cattle in a smaller area but the problem that you're going to run into is you're going to hurt that ground in that environment because we call this field our stomp ground which basically what it is is it's the field we keep them in during the winter when it's harsh because it is going to get ruined because it's muddy and it's they're here during the spring when it's just disgusting but then all the other months we keep them in the other four fields we hardly ever bring them back up in this field so it has even longer to come back and be able to you rejuvenate because like i said if you got three cows and you had two acres for their laziness yeah two acres would be fine as far as them being able to have enough space but you're really going to see that you're no longer going to be able to feed that grass because it's never going to be able to come back they're just going to keep beating it down and eating it down and it's not going to have that time to regenerate and recoup hi did you miss having a voiceover because guess what your girl isn't perfect when it comes to youtubing still i don't know what happened like i don't know if my mic came unplugged a little bit i don't know if it was in a silly goofy mood could be the fact that i only spent 20 dollars on, on amazon you know that's that could be my bad but um i still wanted to include this because you got to see the adorable little nursing of onyx with her mama lafonda you see little olive laying next to athena and then phoenix is laying behind her mom red I just wanted to be able to keep this in because it's super cute. Look at the little babes. Absolutely precious. I just thought, what's a YouTube video if I don't show you some of the absolute adorable sides of what I do? Did you see that little tongue? Look at that little tongue. Just adorable. I mean, look at this big stretch. Oh, big stretch. If you don't say big stretch when animals get up and stretch, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> But that is all I have for you guys. I know that that is a huge question I get a lot, especially on my TikTok, and I just wanted to be able to answer it, but with more information and more insights, because like I said, it's a lot more. It's not just a quick answer like, oh, it costs this much a month and you need this much space, because you guys can be literally everywhere on the world. So I, I can't really give you a solid answer. The best thing I can do is find local sources to research, even if you just reach out to another farmer in your area and be like, hey, do you know the stocking rate? Do you know how many cattle, like, you know how much land I need if I want to get three cows you know if you're in my area i would say at least having 10 acres would be great for three cows because then you could at least split it into two or three smaller fields and just rotate more often scarlet just farted so loud and now she's pooping <laughs> like and subscribe <laughs> you know do your research if you have any more questions i'd love to answer them i love being a little bit of education on this channel so if you have other questions i'd love to answer them but i'm gonna get off here because my cows are wreaking havoc all right bye guys